Nashville. Today we will be going through one of the days of 12 days of sweat mist. Today I'm going to be leading you through a shorter version of the Hot 26 series. This is going to be a great variation, a great thing to do from home, especially on a snow day or any day you're on vacation and you just have 30 minutes or so to get into your body, get into your practice. Uh, we're just going to do a shortened version of the class we love and set ourselves straight. All right, so we're going to start with a breathing exercise. Start with your feet together, toes and heels touch. Interlace your fingers underneath your chin, thumbs with your throat. Relax your shoulders, contract your thighs, focus one point, and begin. Inhale slowly through your nose, stomach in. Lift your elbows up as high as possible. Exhale through your mouth. As you exhale, bring your elbows together to touch. Inhale again through your nose, head down, elbows up, stomach in. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale again, head down, elbows up. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, keep your legs engaged, belly and spine straight. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going, inhale just a couple more. Keep your legs engaged, belly in, lift your elbows up even higher than you think you can. Exhale, head up. Last one, inhale. And relax your arms down by your side. Next pose, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head sideways. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Suck your stomach in. Inhale, stretch up towards the ceiling and slowly warm it up right and left several times. Just getting into both sides of the body. When you cross the center, stretch up a little taller, really tractioning, lengthening your spine. So she can sit around a little bit. Good, just get long and tall. And come on up, stop in the middle. And we'll set up our first one. Contract your thighs, hips a little forward. Keep your chin lifted, arms and head back. Palms together all the way up to the wrists. Inhale, stretch up one more time in a straight line. Move your body to the right, push your hips to the left. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Keep your left hip forward, right shoulder forward, belly in. Keep the weight in your heels. Inhale as you lengthen, exhale, stomach in, going a little deeper. Again, now if you're doing this in a place where you're not so warmed up, don't worry about going as deep as possible. Just try to feel sensation going down the left side of the body, engaging your muscles, lifting through the pelvic floor, Growing out of the waist here as you lengthen the left side body. Change, inhale, come on up. Other side, again, reset it at the beginning here. Lock your knees, stomach in. Inhale, stretch up, palms together. And then go up and over to the left. Keep the weight in your heels, both feet flat. Make sure you're not twisting right hip forward, left shoulder forward. Keep your chin up, throat is relaxed. Hands, palms together all the way up to the wrists. Yep, the more you can keep the arms straight, legs straight, the deeper you'll feel it through your spine, actually getting more benefit through the upper thoracic spine there. Keep both feet flat, both legs fully engaged. Lift your kneecaps. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, bump your hips to the right a little bit deeper for three, 
two, one. Change, inhale, come on up, stop in the middle. Next is a backward bend, relax your head back. Take a deep breath, stretch up, try to touch your ceiling and then bring your arms towards the back of the room. As you bring your arms back, lift your chest up. Inhale, push your hips forward. Keep maximum body weight in your heels. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, going a little deeper into your pose. Breathe there. And change, inhale, come on up. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your hands to your floor and bend it right and left several times. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, let your head be heavy here. And just warming up the spine, four directions to start. And bend your knees halfway and scoop up your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand, baby fingers touching side by side. I'll show you the side view. From the side, your elbows are wrapped behind your calf muscles, shoulders away from the ears. There's no gap between my body and my legs. And then pull on your heels as you stretch your body down. Knees can be a little bent. We're trying to keep the connection between the upper body and the lower body. Roll forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Press to the balls of your feet. Roll more forward. Lift your hips up. Stretch your body down. Shoulders away from the ears. Wrap your elbows. Roll forward. Stretch down. And then to release, undo your hands, reach your arms out in front of you, knees can be a little bit. Nice flat back, inhale, press through your feet, slowly come on up to center. And exhale, arms down by your side. Next is awkward pose, I'll do it with this direction so you have a visual. We're gonna step the right foot to the right, about six inches apart, so hips or feet are about hip width distance. Inhale, lift your arms up parallel to the floor. Relax your shoulders and reach your hands forward. Then suck your stomach in, stretch up tall, Exhale, sit down halfway. Bring maximum body weight into your heels. It's like you're sitting in a chair that's a little bit too far behind you. Now sink a little bit, tailbone down, get length through the lumbar spine. Shoulders stay down away from the ears, then upper body back. Weight in your heels, stomach in, sit down, hold it. Reach your arms forward, hold it. Change, good. Second part, come all the way up onto your toes as high as you can. Inhale at the top. And exhale, sit down halfway. Keep your heels up, knees up, belly in. Hips a little forward, upper body back. Spine is straight like you're leaning against the wall. Good, upper body back, heels up. Knees up, shaking legs is good, smiling even better. Heels up higher, upper body back. Change, good, come on up, heels down, third part. Come up a little bit on your toes, bring your knees, thighs together. Inhale, stretch up tall. Exhale, come down slowly. It's about 10 counts, controlling your breath, working your inner thighs, adductors. Point your knees down, arms parallel, thighs parallel, upper body stays straight. Keep your knees together, very light, light and lifted. And take a deep breath, push to your feet, keep your knees together, slow as you can, come back up. And step your right foot over the left, exhale, arms down by your side. All right, for the visual, I'll face forward again. You don't have to keep turning with me, just face whichever way you are. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head for eagle pose. Exhale, swing your right arm underneath your left arm, crossing at the elbows. If maybe you don't have this much flexibility, what you'll do is cross one under the other, and you can stay about here. No problem, if you can get the double bind, hands, palms, prayer, or interlock. Suck your stomach in, sit down halfway. Inhale, lift your right leg up and over left. Wrap your foot around, upper body back, knees to the right, upper body left. Hold it, lengthen up, belly in, shoulders down, and change. Inhale, arms up, left arm under right. Stomach in, sit halfway, left leg lift high up and over your right leg. Wrap your foot around, stomach in. Sit down a little deeper, knees to the left, upper body to the right. Careful with your knees. If you have any pain in the knees, you're gonna stay lifted. Maybe don't do the double bind. If your foot's not wrapped, if it's out of here, just point your foot where you'd like it to go, building that with time. 
and then change. Inhale, arms up over your head, and exhale, arms down by your side. We'll move right along into standing head to knee. All right, I'll do the side view again so you got that. All right, for standing head to knee, so next is standing head to knee. We're going to shift the weight into the left leg, contract the left thigh. Inhale, pick up your right leg, interlace your fingers, suck your stomach in, round over, pick up your right foot. Because this is a shorter version of class, we're not going to go to our full expression, so we're going to stay in this first position. If your standing leg is locked, then begin to lift right heel up. And stay here, just lengthen the legs. Pull up through the thighs. Relax your shoulders. If you'd like, you can bring elbows down. If you can bring your head to your knee, you'll proceed to that, or else just simply back your way out. Other side, shift the weight into your right leg, pick up your left leg. Interlace your fingers, suck your stomach in, pick up your left foot. Focus on the right leg, belly in. If your standing leg is locked, left heel lift. If your standing knee is bending, then your job is to stay here in this first position. Okay, both legs are locked in, elbows down. We'll stay there. If you have it in your practice to try forehead to knee, you can. If you're feeling a little tight today, just stay here. And slowly back your way up. Standing bow point pose, right hand up, elbow at the waist, palm facing up, grab your right foot from the inside of the ankle, bring your knees together to start. Inhale, left arm up, shoulder to your chin, right shoulder back. Inhale, stretch up, full lungs. Begin to kick your right leg back and up behind you. Kick back so the right shoulder gets pulled back. Left shoulder stretches forward. And your shoulder stretching in opposite directions. Going to come a little bit down more. Belly parallel to the floor. Reach your left arm forward. Kick your right leg back and up. Keep the right hip down. Just go to your sweet spot, play there, breathe. Doesn't have to be your deepest one ever. And slowly kick your way out. Feet together, left hand up. Bring it out to the side, grab your left foot from the inside. Knees together, right arm up, stretch up full lungs. Begin to kick back and up. Left hip down, reach your shoulders apart, kick away from you, kick back and up. And slowly release. Arms down by your side. Next posture is balancing stick. Come to the back of your mat, feet together. If you don't have a mat, no worries, just step back a little so you don't step on anything. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, interlace your fingers, stretch up tall. Right leg step forward, big step, point your left toes, come down halfway. Come down until you look like this letter T. Notice if the hip is up, bring the left hip down. Stretch forward, stretch back. It's a great one for getting your heart rate up. We'll come out, step back. Left, left leg step forward, big step, point your right toes, stretch up and come down one piece. Body down, leg up, and right hip down. Stretch forward. And change, step back. Exhale, arms down by your side. That one gets the heart rate up, the next one's gonna slow the heart rate down. So we'll take a step over the mat. So your legs are about four feet apart. Arms out parallel to the floor. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Leading with your chest. Looking for as long as possible. Anytime you need to, you can bend the knees a little bit. Grab your heels from the outside. You can work to the straight legs, press your knees back, lift your hips up. And think of tractioning the spine. So get long through the back of the neck. We're not scrunching the neck. Get long through the neck, lengthening forward, eventually dropping the body through the legs, keeping our back flat. We're gonna flow this into our triangle pose. So slowly come on out. Turn your right toes to the right, bend your right knee. Move your arms, right hand down, left arm up. Chin to the left shoulder. Reach your arms in opposite directions. Press your right knee back, keep your left leg strong and engaged. Good, inhale, bring your body up to center. Unbend the right knee, bring the right toes in, left toes out. Bend your left knee until your thighs parallel. 
Belly in, move your arms, left arm down, right arm up, turn your chin towards the right shoulder. Look up towards the ceiling. Stretch your arms in opposite directions. Press your right knee back. Keep your, excuse me, push your left knee back. Keep your right leg strong. Inhale, come on up. And we'll flow through to separate leg, head to knee. So a little bit smaller step, arms overhead. Pivot on your heels, face the side. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin, round down. Bring your forehead to your knee. Hands out in front of your foot. You can bend the front knee as much as you need to. Bring your right hip back and up, left hip forward and down. This one's especially great for helping to balance blood sugar levels. If you're anything like me, I get cabin fever in the winter. I start to eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> so I'm grateful for this pose. Keep your left hip forward, belly in, inhale, round up, one vertebrae at a time. Pivot, face the front, pivot, face the left. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, tuck your chin, round down. Bring your forehead to your knee, left hip up, right hip down. Little sips of air, smile and happy face. Grateful for our strong bodies. Posture super effective in flushing lymphatic system, working on all the internal organs. Keep your right hip forward, left hip back, slowly round up one vertebrae at a time. Pivot, face the front, step it in, arms by your side. Next is tree pose, bring the right leg up, foot to the front of the left hip, bring your right hand to heart center, eventually both hands to heart center. You're welcome to keep holding the foot here as long as you'd like. If this is okay, fold forward, hands to the mat. Bend your left knee, sit down and toe stand. Heel underneath the center of the hips. Walk your hands to the sides of your hips one by one. When you have your balance there, left hand up, right hand up. Stretch up tall. Toes come on out. Tree pose anytime, you can release your right leg down. Shift the weight into your right leg, pick up your left leg. Bring it up to the front of the right hip. When you have your balance here, left hand up, right hand up. If your knee feels okay, slowly fold forward from the waist, from the hips. So we're bending at the hips here. Touch your hands on the floor, bend your right knee, sit down, heel center of the hips. Walk your hands to the sides of your hips one by one. Draw the left knee down and in. When you have your balance, left hand up, right hand up. Keep your left knee down, hug the knees in a little, get long through the spine. Very light and lifted. The toes come on out. Tree release left leg down, whatever you need. Good. Next is Savasana, lay down on your back. Arms by your side. When you're moving right leg lift, Grab your right knee, pull your right knee down towards your right shoulder. It was a very short savasana. It's a very short series. Release right leg down, left leg up. In the regular class, we would have two minutes to rest there. And we would be an hour in, about 50 minutes in. Breathe into the front of the left hip and let that go. Inhale, both legs up, grab your hands. If you can go ahead and grab your elbows, that'd be great. If you can't grab the elbows, no worries. Grab your wrists, your forearms. Knees together, stretch down through the back of the neck and the hips. It's great for digestion, again, great for ascending, descending, and transverse colon. Release, legs down. Next is sit up, flex your feet. If you can't do a sit up because of low back pain, you're simply just gonna roll over to the side. Otherwise, arms overhead, flex your feet, inhale, breathing. Sit up, exhale, forehead to your knees. Good, turn around, lie down on your belly for cobra pose. And we're gonna flow cobra into locus, into full locus, into bow. All right, so cobras first, place your hands on your shoulders. This one's great for your lower back muscles. Zip up your legs like you're wearing a toothpaste suit. You're going to squeeze from the bottom to the top. Zip up your legs. Inhale, peel your chest up off the floor. Come up halfway until belly button stays on a mat. Elbows in, shoulders down. Good. Keep your legs strong and engaged. 
three. Exhale, slowly lower. Next is locust. Bring your arms underneath your body. Hands, palms facing down, chin forward. Relax your left leg, lock your right leg, stretch your right leg back and up. Push your hands into the mat, push your chest, shoulders forward and down. Keep your toes under, heel out. Leg is straight. Change right leg down. Relax it completely. Lock your left leg, stretch it back, lift it up. Push your hands down into the mat. Push your chest down. Lift your leg up, heel out, toes under. Straight leg, pointed toes. Change left leg down. Mouth on the towel. This is everybody's favorite. Mouth down, elbows in. Stretch your legs back. Inhale, lift both legs up. Push your hands down, chest down. Lift your hips, legs. Go for it, lift up. Change, slowly lower. Release your arms out. Next, we'll go for full locust pose. Chin forward, bring your arms out to the side. Straighten your legs, inhale, and lift everything up off the mat. Come up until you're balancing on hip bones. Fingertips align with the head. Feet together, lock your knees, lift up, go up, change, lower down. Next is bow, kick your legs up, grab your feet. Couple inches below the toes, knees, feet close together to start. Inhale, begin to kick your legs back and up. Relax the shoulders, keep your knees and toes out, kick back and up. Let's go as far as feels okay for you. Keep looking up at the ceiling. We're looking at the space in front. Knees in, toes out, kick up, look up, change slowly lower. Good. Relax one ear on the mat. Catch your breath. Breathe into your belly. You should feel the heart rate up a little bit. This is all normal. Good, bring your hands under your shoulders and come on up. Next is fixed firm pose. So sit down between your feet. Toes and heels in one line. Place your hands on your feet and then slowly go back onto your elbows, right elbow, left elbow down. From here, drop your head back. The top of the head touches the floor, then tuck your chin in until the back of your head touches. If the knees are popping off the mat, you're going too far. So for a lot of people, if you have full expression, you're gonna grab your elbows. But for a lot of people, you might actually be a little bit more lifted. You might look like this. Okay, what we're doing is flushing the knees, the ankles. We're still getting tremendous benefit. It's not about going all the way into the pose. Okay, just be where you are. It's totally fine. When you're ready, place one hand on the foot, other hand, elbows down, push yourself up, and turn around, lie down on your back. When we release the pose, this is where a lot of the benefit happens. We get this nice flush. Feet together, arms overhead, flex your feet, inhale, sit up, exhale, round down. Next is half tortoise pose, so come onto the middle of your mat, kneeling position, lift your arms up over your head. We're going to flow some of this together, stretch up, ribs in, spine straight. On the exhale, come down slowly, flat back. Stretch your arms forward, relax your hips to your heels. Lift your wrists and elbows up in the air, palms together like glue. Stretch your arms forward, knees together. Inhale, come up slowly, flat back. Exhale, arms down by your side. That one's great for lowering blood pressure. Next, we're gonna do camel pose, just gonna help open up our heart center, really flush the spine. So you're gonna come up to your knees, bring your hands to your lower back, push your hips forward, lift your chest up, and slowly go back halfway. 
You might be great right here. Hands stay on the hips for support. If you have a little more range of motion or mobility, you're going to bring right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel. And then drop your head back a little deeper. Lift your chest. Push your hips forward. And just breathe. No drama, just breathe. It's all good. Bring your hands to your hips for support. Push yourself up. And then today we'll just have a seat. Let the body flush. Next, we're going to reverse the backward bend with rabbit pose. Only contraindication here is if you happen to have an actual bulging disc, it's bulging towards the back, then just skip rabbit, skip this next pose. You can always do a little extra backward bending if you'd like. Okay, otherwise, let's try rabbit pose. So grab your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Tuck your chin to your throat, hold your heels. Suck your stomach in, round down. Bring your forehead to your knees, top of the head to the floor, lift your hips. Come up until your arms are straight, shoulders away from the ears, stomach in. Feel that wonderful stretch down the back of the body. Now very little weight on the head. Most of the weight is in my grip. Pull on your heels, lift your hips. And change, hips down, inhale, slowly round up. Then we'll go ahead and lay down for a quick savasana. We'll wrap it up with just a few more poses here at the end. Feet together, arms overhead, flex your feet, inhale, breathing, sit up, exhale, round down. I'll face forward so you can see what we're doing. Bring your right leg out to the side, fold your left foot in. So your left foot is touching your right inner thigh. Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, interlock your fingers. Reach to the right, grab your right foot, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your forehead to your knee. Some people will look like this, knee bent, forehead to knee, no problem. Okay. Once you got your forehead on your knee, heel forward, toes back. Roll your left shoulder in, suck your stomach in. Change, come up, left leg out, right leg in. Stretch up, turn to the left, grab your foot, touch your forehead to your knee. Roll your right shoulder in and down, right knee relax down. Relax your right hip. Okay, come up. Next, we'll just do a little sit up to realign the spine. So where you are, lay down on your back. Inhale, sit up, exhale, round down. Grab your big toes with your middle index fingers. Peace, peace unto the world. We got this. Flex your feet, lift your chest, exhale, fold. You're going for forehead to toe, so for most of us that's not going to happen today, no worries, you just try to lengthen. Okay, first things first, we're trying to get the legs straight, so if the legs are bending, you'll stay about, about here. Once the legs are straight, you can lower down a little more. Good, slowly come on out. Next, we'll take it to spine twist, pull the left leg under, right leg over. Bring your right hand behind your back like a kickstand. I'll show you the side view of that. So we're not sitting on this foot. We want to sit so both hips are on the mat. Take your left arm over your right knee, right hand around your back. Grab your left knee. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, look to the right and twist. You can keep your hand here for support or take your right arm around your back. Push your chest through, look to the right, twist. It was great to end your practice with a spine twist. Really excellent way to incorporate flushing through your liver, your kidneys. Good release. Other side, pull the right leg under, left leg over. Bring your left hand behind you for support like a kickstand. Bring your right arm up and over your left knee. Grab your right knee in front, sit up tall. Exhale, look to the left and twist. You can take this left arm around your back. Chest forward, shoulders down, inhale, stretch up, exhale, twist. Good, release your spine twist. Final couple of bats, you breathing. Last thing we're gonna do here, place your hands on your thighs, arms straight, spine straight, shoulders down. Inhale, exhale. This is just an exhale through the mouth, begin. 
Inhale happens automatically, focus on your exhale. for today. We're going to finish off with a final savasana. So go ahead and lay down on your mat, arms by your side, palms face up, and just receive this gift you gave yourself for the last 30 or so, so minutes. So what you've done is just given your gift, yourself a gift, and in our final savasana is where you get to really unwrap the gift, appreciate your efforts, who you are, and all the lovely things you do in your life. And this is your time with yoga to give back to yourself so you have energy to keep giving to your family, your friends, your loved ones, and the world because God knows we need it. So thank you so much for showing up today on your mat with me from home or wherever you happen to be. Namaste.